Ex cheat on me with her cousin and expected to save face, I think not. For context, it was her cousin-in-law. Let's start this story by saying this happened 12 years ago. I'm now happily married with three children and regret absolutely nothing. I was with my new ex for three years. I had noticed that she was being extremely controlling. I was expected to give every little detail of my day and tell her my schedule in advance. And if I deviated from that, she would be very upset. She chalked it up to just bad feelings she was having and shrugged it off as her paranoia for past relationships of infidelity. I had never once cheated or strayed, and I never gave her a reason to act like this. It felt unbecoming of my fiancé to act in such a way. Now this is where it gets juicy. After she had asked for my schedule to make plans, as mine tends to be more hectic than hers, I noticed she was texting someone. In my line of work, if I put in more than 40 hours, I have the ability to take time off at will as long as the work is completed at a later date. I was very good friends with a brother and still am. We laugh about this to this day, and he actively reminds her of it. I messaged him stating I wanted to do something special for her a little bit earlier than our anniversary to make sure it was a special surprise. They both worked in the same fabrication facility. He was a fabricator and she a shipping manager. He was kind enough to let me know her schedule. That's where the discrepancy falls into place. Without my knowledge, she was foregoing overtime. She worked 12-hour shifts Monday through Friday, with the exception of Wednesday, when she would only work half a day. She had been taking Wednesdays off right around the time that she started getting extremely controlling. Lucky for me, I had stacked several days of leisure time up, so taking a Wednesday off for me was not an issue. A few days go by, and Wednesday's here. I put on my work gear and leave for work. I was expecting her to leave as our apartment complex had two exits on the same road I could see directly across from a shopping center, so I parked my car near the back and waited. After about an hour, I notice a very specific red Mustang with a specific decal on the back window. It was her cousin by marriage. I had also done my due diligence to take an old laptop, which we kept on our desk, in an office area with a full view of the living room, bedroom door, and bathroom plus the kitchen. I had set it up for remote access and had it alert me when the webcam noticed movement. Giving her the benefit of the doubt, I thought he may be dropping something off or coming over to assist her with something, as her family sometimes does. Sure enough, a message came through so I remote into my laptop. He walks through the door without skipping a beat. She unbuttons his shirt and begins kissing him. I created a URL link for the live stream. And as she was preoccupied, we had a family group text and a friend group text. They were both part of it. But at the current time, they were currently indisposed and didn't look at their phones. They didn't even wait. They could have gone to the bedroom. But no, they decided to get freaky deaky right there on the couch. I sent the link off to the friend group chat and the family group chat. Within minutes, I'm getting calls nonstop from friends and family alike. There was no turning back. She was getting blown up, but she was ignoring her phone. Not until the fourth or fifth call came through did they decide to take a break. For context, the state I live in allows recording of personal property regardless of occupancy. I was the only one on the lease. She wasn't allowed to be on the lease because of poor credit. The call she had picked up was from her cousin's mother, who she was banging. She answers the phone on speaker, and I kid you not. The first words out of his mother's mouth were, Stop screwing my son. They both became rigid, and she began to stutter over her words, saying, What are you talking about? etc. The mother then divulged that there was a live feed of them sent out by me to her family. She grabbed every pillow off the couch and covered herself up. The cousin staggered off, trying to put on his pants and shoes just to trip himself up and bang his head off of my coffee table, leaving it with a divot. By this time, I had made my way to the front of the apartment complex. 
I was there to greet the adulterer as he came out of the front exit. He froze and began to cry, apologizing profusely. I'm not going to lie. What happened afterwards wasn't my best moment, and I nearly got into legal trouble if it weren't for the fact that he was trespassing on private property. Let's just say I had a cast for six weeks, and he wasn't in any family photos for months. I went up to the apartment where she was now fully clothed and crying inconsolably. I asked her if it was snot or man cream on her face. Then I told her not to answer because it didn't matter anyway. I gave her one hour to remove all her belongings, as again, everything in the apartment was mine except for clothes, some makeup, and a few kitchen utensils. Her mother would not let her move in, as she was just filled with embarrassment. Same for her brothers, and the cousin's mother kicked her son out. Rumors spread around our town very quickly, and for a lack of better words, she was untouchable. Uh, yeah, let's check out these comments. He also has images that he wants to share. That's nuclear revenge. Wow. Now only did she cheat on you. She cheated on you with her cousin. That's just a whole new level of wrong. I know you said they were cousins by marriage, so the incest ick isn't genuine. But still, my favorite part is live streaming revenge pee without anyone's consent just because recording your home is legal definitely nuclear revenge. Imagine the live stream and a bomb going off among the family boom. Damn, this is the real pro. Flawless victory, OP. We had three other run-ins after this. She refused to give my key back and stole my cat and tried to get it euthanized. I had the cat chipped before we started our relationship. The vet contacted me to confirm, as she was not the one on the chip. I then had to file a police report. Several years later deciding to go out the night of my birthday as we shared close together birthdays, and mine happened to fall on a Saturday. She tried to apologize for what she did. She got upset and threw a drink in my face. That's when my current wife, then girlfriend, whooped her freaking ash. Then she invited me to her wedding in Louisiana where she's now an EMT and her new spouse is a firefighter leaving it with a divot. The table, or his head, lol op, the table. You would not believe how many times I've had to answer the same question, lol. Why bring it up 12 years later? Seems like with the whole new family, you'd be long past it by now, op. I don't know, her sister commented on a picture I had on social media. They're one year apart and damn near identical in looks but polar opposites in attitudes. She made a comment about her nasty acting sister and stated she should have taken one from my book as she just found her spouse had an affair. This had my wife asking questions, as I had only given her sparing details. I gave her the whole spill, which in the end had her jaw dropping and laughing. I'm an extrovert that's over-accommodating. I'll ask the question everyone is afraid to ask, was the camera HD or one of those crappy grainy videos? Op. 1.3 MP 2009. Acer Aspire 7720. Can you imagine getting a call from your aunt saying, Stop screwing my son? At least it wasn't blood. I would have been in such shame. I love how everyone comes on here and yells fake despite this having more evidence than most stories and y'all still come back to read them. Op, bro, everybody screaming karma farming, but I barely post crap LOL. I just recently discovered the sub LOL.